Hey everybody, it's George Wooden again from BW Limited Charity Fundraising, your charity fundraising one-stop shop. Here with Charity Fundraising TV, episode like number nine now, but out of like 55,000 uh, videos I've done today, shh, I'm going to check around, wait a minute, hold on, let me, let me make sure, I'm going to let you in on a trade secret, it's just you and me, it's you and me. Trade secret of the autograph world. The autograph world. Don't tell anybody. This is just a trade secret. It's insider stuff here. So, you know, obviously, look me around. Hold on. Obviously, make sure there's nobody here. Obviously, I'm a charity fundraiser. I work in the charity fundraising world, right? So, um, I work with a lot of autograph stuff. 55,000 items in my inventory. Autographed items. And uh, there's a lot of mystery behind the whole autograph world, right? There is. There's a lot of mystery. In fact, I can't tell you how many times people come to me and say, George, did they do these autographs for charity? Or how long did you have to stand out in front of the stadium to get so-and-so to sign that autograph? Okay, here's the deal. Stop, stop, stop. The reality, the insider track of the autograph world is, ready? Here it comes. Write it down. Write it down. Here it comes. This is coming from me, George Wooden. The bald-headed guy, the reality charity fundraiser guy. Write it down. Here it comes. It's an industry. The autograph world is an industry. There are people getting paid to autograph. Can you believe it? Now, I'm not talking about like you and your kids going to the stadium to watch a, a, or a, a, a football game or a baseball game or something, and you lean over the dugout or the, the, the guys come over and they sign stuff. I'm not talking about that. It's not the way this works. The way it works is, is this. There's an entire industry around the autograph world. Every athlete is represented by an agent, right? That agent also reaches out and looks for people to do autograph signings because the agent wants to make money and so does the so does the athlete. We talk about athletes, right? So especially like the retired guys, they need to keep that cha ching machine going, cash register going. So what they do is they put a value on their autograph, say thirty dollars or whatever. And then by the time the agent puts money on it, and then the event promoter puts money on it, and blah, 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 puts money on it, whatever, whatever, it's a hundred dollars. That's just for the autograph. Now I'm going to show you a picture. This is Joe Montana. Now, do you see in the picture? See all the stacked up helmets in the back. Joe didn't play for the Lions, but those are, those helmets are there for somebody else. Joe. Is signing Montana jerseys because he's at a show. There's these big shows like in Chantilly, Virginia. They're all over the country that these guys come and they sign and they'll sign and they'll sign and they'll sign and they'll sign. And they'll sign. It's called the back room because he's, if you see it, he's signing a stack of jerseys, not just one, an entire stack of jerseys and a bunch of helmets. So he's getting paid per piece, but he's guaranteed a certain amount of pieces that he's going to sign. Now, the way this works is, they'll have this show, and they'll put the word out throughout the entire world of wholesalers or memorabilia dealers, everybody across the United States who's a memorabilia dealer, um, in your local area, the sports stores, whatever, that Joe Montana and 150 other guys, literally 150 other guys, will be at this show doing the autographs. At the place... At the place, I mean, reach over yonder. At the place, they will bring in authenticators, JSA or PSA DNA, right? I'm sure I can find a PSA DNA card here somewhere. Yep. Or PSA. These guys, let me put this card down so it doesn't fall, this picture. So PSA DNA and JSA will be there. And they will actually witness the autographs as they're doing it. As Joe goes down the line, they will start putting stickers on everything that he signs and get putting a, the card with it 
The card actually is a, is not the certificate of authenticity. It's the little sticker that you can't peel off because it destructs the actual COA. It has a number on it. Now, so all these all these these people are there. They're signing, signing, signing. Now these shows are going on all over the place: in Virginia, New York, New Jersey, California, Texas, you name it. Then they'll do autograph signings with individual athletes. Certain certain businesses will do individual signings with certain athletes, like in their store. Let's just say Barry Sanders comes to a place in Detroit. And I'm sure I have a picture of Barry Sanders right here. Well, if you look after this, I'm going to have a bunch of pictures of autograph signings. So they'll say D Barry Sanders is coming to do a, do a signing for the, in Detroit. And a million people show up. Well, before, before the million people show up at the front door to get an autograph by him, they will also open it up to other dealers. So other dealers will get in. Now, what does this do? It lowers the price, right? Somebody's making money. They have to guarantee Barry Sanders so many autographs because he's not coming out if he's not getting 100 grand, right? So if they... And I'm I'm not I'm not kidding you. Fifty thousand, hundred thousand, something like that. They're not coming out. It's not not worth their time, because by the time they get the money, it's trickled down. He's getting thirty thousand dollars. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but it is what it is. So he's getting that certain amount of money. They'll open it up. So in the back room of that one person signing, a bunch of dealers will get in and buy helmets, jerseys, pictures, whatever. Okay, so that's the way it really works. Now. Unfortunately, unless you know Joe Montana or Barry Sanders or, I don't know, John Elway, or you have a tie-in to them, will they sign something for you? But the problem is, now, if they sign something for you and there's no certificate of authenticity that comes with it, it's worthless. Just telling you. It's the way it is. They don't, oh, this is for charity, I'm going to do it cheaper. No, no, they don't do it cheaper. Now I, as the as the person in the business, I if I want helmets, I have to go out and buy 20 helmets, and 20 full size helmets are expensive, or 20 jerseys, or a stack of numbers. What I mean by that, a lot of the guys will just sign a stack of cloth numbers, and we stitch them on their jersey because it's cheaper, because they sell their autograph like a premium. You pay a higher price for a premium, and guess what a premium is? A helmet. They have to sign in a circle, right? We'll charge more. Flats, a flat a picture or the numbers, like uh, I have a, I'll show you a picture of Joe Flacco signing University of Delaware number twos, right? Um, he's signing nose. So flats, jerseys, all that stuff, those are flats. Those are cheaper. Eight by 10, 16 by 20 pictures. Okay. So that I have to invest all in that. And then I have to get it all framed up and it gets paid JSA because they want to be paid. Everybody wants to be paid. So it's it's literally a cash register upon cash registers. Now, celebrities also do it. Now, before I go into the sports thing, okay, so I showed you a picture of good old, there's Joe, again, signing helmets. Now, look at all the helmets stacked up. There's a ton of helmets. He's, see a little posted pad? See a little posted pad on that one? That's telling Joe what to inscribe. That's like he signs Joe Montana. And it'll say sign NFL Hall of Fame or whatever. So he'll read that and he'll write the inscription. He's getting paid. That's another way they make money off the inscription. So if it says Joe Montana, um, I don't care who your favorite player is. And then there's something else other than his number. NFL Hall of Fame, <laughs> I, <coughs> I'm i sorry, I bet on baseball by Pete Rose. They're getting paid extra to do that inscription. That's the way it works. Okay. Now, I want to show you. I have stacks and stacks of pictures of these guys doing signings. And I'm going to share them with you on our fan page. I'm going to show you stacks and stacks of pictures of these guys doing signings. Now, the problem is, it's not every autograph provider out there has pictures of these guys doing signings. In fact, in the charity world, there's a couple of, of shyster, uh, um, shyster businesses 
that don't have pictures at all, nor are do there pictures of them, or are there pictures of them standing with certain people. Now, I'm going to tell you, for my business, I need these pictures because I need to show you that I'm legitimate and they're not, right? It's important. Shows integrity. Now, let's move on. Here's Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. Norman, if you can't see, is signing. I have one right over there. Hold on. Norman is signing his angel wing vest that he play, that he wears in The Walking Dead. I'll show you. Here's the vest. Here's the vest, right? It's a vest, and it's signed by Norman Reedus. Here is the vest. It's cert certified. There's a certificate of authenticity, and on the inside, a little sticker right here. But this is the signed angel wing vest by Norman Reedus. Here is a picture of Norman Reedus signing the vest. Okay, now, here's a picture of him doing it actually doing it now i don't care who you are but everybody wants to get their pictures with celebrities right especially me i want to do it i'll tell you the truth i really could care less because they're all normal people to me they all after they eat a good meal need to go to the bathroom right they all put their pants on the same way and they all wipe their butt the same way they're all the same people a lot of them have much bigger egos but it is what it is so I need pictures to show legitimacy, authenticity. And I need pictures of me with these people to show you that I'm legitimate. Make sense? Now, also, Stan Lee. Here's Stan. Stan Lee, 97 years old. So if you've got an event and you want, you should take Stan Lee items. He's not doing very well. He's 97 years old and he's still doing signs. There he is signing a captain america shield i was just in new york and did a gala it sold at their gala that same item sold at their gala now what i'm trying to tell you is the insider trade secret here is this simply this is that this is an industry it is an industry the prices are set the prices are set by the signer by the athlete by the stan lee wants so much norman reedus wants so much the guy who plays negan wants so much their agents want so much, the person doing the signing wants so much, and by the time it gets to us, I gotta buy this damn vest, right? I gotta buy the vest for him to sign. I gotta buy the 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 shield for him to sign. The price goes up and up and up and up and up. The reality of the of the charity autograph is this. It's the same reality of the sports memorabilia world, JSA and PSA DNA. They're the authentic. But you gotta understand. That it is an it's an industry. The industry lines up these Hall of Famers and these some of these some celebrities. We line them up and then they come out and sign. And they get paid. They're all getting paid. They're not just like walking down the street going to McDonald's and we say, Oh, hey, Stan, will you sign a Captain America shield? And he bends over and signs it. No, 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 it's not the way it works. Big shows, they come in. Troy Palomalu and those guys, they come in and they'll wear headphones. They don't want to talk to nobody. They just want to sign, 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 and be done with it. That is the an insider trade secret. It is an industry. If you ever want to track it, go online, look for autograph conferences, autograph conventions. Sometimes we even go to Comic Cons. And there are, there are signings in the back room of some of these people. All of the athletes will do signings in the back room. So that's the insider trade secret. Keep that between us. Insider trade secret to tell you how autographs are found and offered at charity events. I'm George. This is Charity Fundraising TV, episode number 10. Check out our website at www.bwunlimited.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.